Hi, my name is Marvin Colgen, and I'm the developer of Bulletproof FTP client and server. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect to an FTP server. Uh, what the server we're going to need to connect to is a public server, so it allows anybody to connect to it. And this is useful for testing to make sure that the program is running on your computer and that you can see and download files. So we're going to go ahead and launch off Bulletproof. Uh, by, de by default, it creates a icon here on the desktop called Bulletproof FTP Client, or you can go ahead and click on the Start menu and it'll be under here called Bulletproof FTP Client. Now when you're connecting to an FTP server there's four pieces of information you have to have. Uh, the first is the host or the name of the server. The second is the port. Almost always it's port number 21 and it's going to be 21 unless you're told otherwise. And then a login name and a password for the server. Uh, there are almost all FTP servers require a login and a password. Um, for ones that are, are public, you can log in as the anonymous login name and with the password you enter your email address. So there's a very large uh, FTP server called FTP dot, and we're typing this in now in the host uh, field. And it's FTP dot, and then it's kernel, and that's K as in the kangaroo, E R N as in Nancy, E L dot org O R G and we're going to use the anonymous login name and that's A N O N Y M O U S and we're going to use just an email address. It doesn't matter what you put in here, it doesn't get validated. So now we've got our host name is ftp.kernel.org. The port is the default of 21, and the login is anonymous, and the password again is anything you want, but it's uh, the format is a username at a host.com. And we're going to click the little handshake here to connect to it, and we get the welcome. Uh, the software went ahead and connected to the thing to the server and displays the welcome message for the server. We're going to click OK and rearrange things a little bit here. And on the left hand side you see the files on your computer. On the right hand side you see the files on the server. And as you can see we see files on the server so we're connected and we're going to go ahead and just start clicking around and make sure things work. Seem to be working just great. So now we're just going to go ahead and just try to download something. So I'm going to go to a location on my computer here that I want to download it to. And we're going to click the browse button and I'm just going to select the desktop and uh, there's a file here that's nice and small, it's only 12,000 bytes and we're going to click on it and then drag it to the left hand side and you see it went in here to the queued actions so we're going to go ahead and click the go button here to go ahead and start transferring the queued actions and we see the last line here is file sent ok on the left hand side now we see readme is there and if we go to our desktop, I'm going to minimize Bulletproof, and there's the README file that I just downloaded. So by doing this test, you can confirm that your installation of Bulletproof FTP client is working great and that there are no problems. We can go ahead and click the disconnect now and disconnect from the server. And that concludes this tutorial.